Hello, welcome everybody. Uh, this is Diorama Don here. Uh, this is my version of a two-story um, dilapidated barn, if you like, uh, that you might find in the uh, French countryside that would make a good part of a diorama for um, a, a couple of tanks coming by. Um, I, I'll, I'll do this in two sections, two different videos. I'll, I'll show you how I went about making this building and then in the next video um, there'll be a, um, a wooden dilapidated building next door to it. Uh, so it'll be a, a sizable diorama when it's done. Uh, so, for the time being, uh, please watch this video and I'll show you how I went about making this. Before I go any further, <laughs> almost forgot, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, things are doing really, really well at the moment, um, but uh, more subscribers is, is a good thing. So please subscribe, click that like button, and uh, you'll be informed when new videos come along. In the meantime, this is how I went about making it. Okay, let's make a start then. So I'm using two millimeter cardboard as usual. Um, if you can't buy two millimeter cardboard, you can make it quite easily by using any packaging, any cardboard packaging, uh, glue three pieces together. That will give you two millimeters thick. And, and that's just about the right uh, thickness for, for this kind of modeling. So I'm making a stone built barn. Uh, sorry, a brick built barn. I've made a stone built barn in the past and a uh, timber built, but this will be a brick built barn. So I've designed the front how I want it. These will be oak beams with uh, brick in between and then uh, a, a broken render over the bricks. Um, so I, I've designed it like that. Um, if anyone wants to know the size, eight and three quarter inches by 225 millimeters and the height I've made it uh, seven and a quarter inches high by 185 millimeters. So um, I've made it in two parts because I want the uh, I want it to look three dimensional rather than just a flat fronted building. So if these are the sides, this is the roof coming down. Uh, this will be the top half of the front there. I'll have to come up like that. And the bottom half of the front there. And then along here, there'll be a row of tiles. Uh, some designs of French farmhouse were like that. Um, so we've got the, the, a row of tiles along the front there. So it ju just makes it look a little more interesting, that's all. So to make the sides, d decide how deep you want it. Mine is, I believe, three inches uh, or eight, se uh, 75 millimetres. So it doesn't need to be that deep, not really. And the front of it will come up to that first, first cut there. And then that part there, and then that bit there. So you, you'll know how to cut the sides by how, by what size you've made the front or designed the front. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to have to do uh, the um, the cladding, the beams first, and the uh, the brickwork. I'll, I'll have to do that first, I think. So what I've done is is cut some more card, the same width as the width of the beams, five sixteenths, and I'll, I'll put all these these beams all around the uh, where, well where I've marked them out that's where the beams will go and in the uh, the top section um, with two millimeter card which is the same as my bricks that I make so the beams will go like that and the bricks will be level with those beams like so 
and the size of the bricks. Um, I've made videos before on how, how I make them with tile grout, red tile grout. And I make them four millimetres by eight millimetres. And to know the size of a house brick, get one of your 35 millimetre um, figures and imagine him hold, holding a house brick. And that's going to be the size. So you can see how small they, uh, they need to be, to be uh, in scale. Uh, but anyway, I, I'll put these beams on and the bricks. But then when I've done that, uh, these will be the, the, the beams that I put on top. So there'll be another beam on top of that so that it sits proud of the uh, bricks and the render. And all I've done is cut these exactly the same, but I've, I've put a chamfer on the sides uh, at uh, various points and then cut away so that it's not quite so straight. And then, I don't know if you can see that, with a sharp knife, I've just scored the top of the cardboard uh, that way and then two uh, diagonal lines like that and then just take the uh, the rough top away to leave what looks like um, a, a, a beam, a wooden beam. It gives gives the impression of the, uh, the grain of a wooden beam. <laughs> okay, so if you've got all that, that's what I'll do next. So I'll, I'll put the, the initial beams on and all the bricks and the render. And then I can fix the, the whole building together. Uh, hot melt glue. Uh, there will be no roof. That will have caved in. So all you'll see is the, the roof struts along the top. Um, so that will make things a lot easier. OK, so I'll stop talking and uh, get on with that. So just a quick update then. I put all the uh, beams on where I'd marked out where I wanted them to be. So I stuck those on and then put my homemade bricks at certain places. I'm not going to do, do it all because the rest will be uh, where the render is. Uh, so the bricks are on, the glue is dry, so now we need the mortar between the bricks. So uh, I've mixed some more grey grout. I'll just do one small section. That will go in there. And the bricks are the, the right height, they're the same height as the beams that I, the first lot of beams that I put stuck on. So now we've got mortar between the bricks there and all I have to do is take off the surface and, and it will be level all on one level like that. So then when I put my, uh, I've got a white or a, an ivory coloured uh, grout I'll put in between the rest of the spaces there uh, to make it look as though it, it all should have been um, <laughs> uh, it all should have been um, rendered that's the word I was looking for the whole thing should be rendered but where it's broken off and revealed the bricks underneath so that's the point of it when, when that is on and level then I'll have a completely level rendered and brick surface. Then I can put more of the beams on top, um, the weathered and uh, distressed beams will go on top like that. So that's <laughs> have you got all that? So I'll carry on putting the, the um, mortar between the bricks and I'll put the uh, ivory coloured um, oh, the ivory coloured uh, grout I'm sorry I'm getting a little confused here uh, and then come back and show you 
Have you got all that? I'll do one more. It's uh, getting a little bit hard actually. I need to put a bit more water in with it. But this is quite easy to do once the bricks are on there and properly dried. It's quite easy just to get that effect. Okay, so I'll carry on doing that, <clears throat> doing that to the top and bottom half of the front. Uh, then when I've done that, I can put the rest of the building together. Uh, on this side, uh, there won't be anything because I want to put a, um, uh, a wooden building, a, a a falling down wooden build, a rotting wooden building there. And this side, I will just put more beams and uh, white grout. <laughs> if you're following all this, <laughs> you're better than I am. I don't even know what I'm talking about myself. Now, I think you know what I mean. Okay, so I'll carry on doing that and I'll be back in a moment. So what I did, I uh, finished uh, putting the mortar between the bricks uh, and then painted on the uh, ivory coloured grout in the remaining spaces. Uh, once I'd got those two pieces finished like that, I was able to put the whole, the whole thing together, put the sides on. Uh, I, I did a similar thing on the side anyway. Uh, and then for the tiled part of that uh, mini roof in front, um, very thin card, not uh, two millimetre, a lot thinner card. Uh, just make a, a grid of three eight squares or uh, I forgot what it is, nine millimetres. Three eighths or nine millimetre squares this way and that way. And then cut off two at a time. So you'd cut off like that and then with a pair of scissors just cut down one half, well, halfway <laughs> so that you've got that effect. So you can do a whole run of tiles all the way along. Okay, so that's the roof. Um, I'm going to put a proper roof on rather than no roof at all but it will still be uh, broken in the middle so that will be the shape of the roof and then there will be roof trusses going that way <coughs> and that way and as for the um, beams the oak beams I don't know if you can see them they look quite oakish you can see the grain and the, the weathering of, uh, of, those, of those beams. <clears throat> so what I did, uh, just ordinary two millimetre cardboard and then cut, I don't know if you can see it, cut a chamfer. Just a, with a very sharp knife, just cut a chamfer either, either side. Then cut away into the card so you, you get that kind of shape maybe two that side one that side to get that shape and then with a sharp knife on the surface just gouge out <coughs> the surface of the it may it may bring up some gnarled pieces like that but when you've painted them they sit back down anyway so that that gives the impression of a of a um, an oak beam when that's painted. So as you can see on there, that's uh, that's how we've got it. Closer. <laughs> oh yeah, that's focused. Oh, what a fantastic camera! Focusing beautifully. So that's where we are now. Uh, I'll put my roof on, and that. Oh, and make the doors. So the doors will be made in a in a in a similar fashion. I shall have to design. Well, it'll be a double door, two doors, uh, with uh, th that kind of uh, effect. 
Okay, so I'll do that, finish the roof off, the door and the window. Uh, that will basically finish this building. And then uh, I'll probably do another video then for the for the building next door, which will be just in timber, just just a, a wooden uh, hut kind of thing next door. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay, so we've got a roof now. Um, I did the same process with the roof struts um, as uh, weathered um, beams. You can see those. And the uh, tiles are on the roof and on the uh, front part there. And did the door in the same fashion. Just uh, closed off the window there with a few few beams across there. So that's basically the, the, the finish of the barn, two-storey high barn. <clears throat> what needs to be done now is uh, weathering it. Um, <laughs> this I'm not too sure about. Um, a black wash, maybe, just to uh, darken it down and, and make it look a little more weathered. Or maybe just uh, black and white uh, dry brushing. Um, it's a case of having to experiment now. Uh, I've painted the beams uh, grey, just a a added a little black paint into white and added uh, some water. So we've got the colour, basic colour of the beams, but they need they need more um, black dry brushing and white dry brushing. So um, I'll see what I can do. I, I'm <laughs> this is to make this no problem it's okay uh, but um, painting is, is, is not my thing not my forte so I'll do the best I can making excuses which will finish this part of the project then uh, in the next video I'll make the other building and then set it into a, um, a proper farmyard kind of diorama so Wish me luck <laughs> and as you wave me goodbye and uh, I'll see what I can do. So I weathered it as best I could. Um, I, I did one version of it but didn't like it and then re-rendered uh, all these sections over again um, because um, it, it looked a bit of a mess. Uh, so I did it again and th this, this time looks okay. Um, I'm quite pleased with it. <laughs> Uh, we've got the green mould coming down from the roof there and coming up from the ground a little bit there. A um, bit of dry brushing, black white, black dry and white dry brushing. Uh, so that, that's I, I may come back to it and do uh, do a little bit more, but I think that's uh, maybe a bit too much of the green. I can take that back a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that as it is for the moment. Um, I'll do this. This will be the end of this video. The next video will be the the uh, other building. Uh, so for the time being, thank you for watching this so far. Um, please subscribe to the channel. You'll be uh, informed when new videos come along. Uh, there are 110 videos now for you to go back uh, to, to watch in my library. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching again, and I will see you in, uh, in the next thrilling instalment. <laughs>